Hello everyone. Today I will introduce how to realize synchrotic return. Let's watch a video first. Continuous press, the bulb is on. Release the press, the bulb is off. We could see the data returned by the synchronous press. Part 1 is to understand the software setting. Synchronic to return. These for parameters. When we choose the touch area, they are automatically generated. These two parts. You could set according to your needs. The following is divided into three parts. First press, continuous pressing and release. According to the description, we select 01 mode. All three parts need to give the data of the first line of address to the address of the second line. It should be noted that the address of this part needs to be different from the other two so that it will not have an impact on bulb. Data length. Because the unit is byte, I set 2. In this part, we need to use the data variable display function to set initial value. The three states set different parameters. The VP needs to be consistent with the parameter set earlier. The three states correspond to different VPS. Initial value. First press set 1 to indicate that the bulb is on. Continuous pressing set 2 to indicate that the bulb will not change, but it will still be on. Loosen pressing set 0 to indicate that the bulb is off. Next is variables icon. According to the VP set earlier, we need to set 1000 here. Select the number 30 to ICL file generated by the background images. This part. Select the image to be displayed. The quantity needs to be consistent. Here select show background mode. The rest does not require setup. Next comes the demonstration section. Open Diga software. Create a new project. Choose the corresponding resolution. Choose the file path. Add the background images. Return the welcome interface. Click ICL generator. Select directory. Name it 32 and save it into an SCT folder. Now start to make the project. Click Synchrona to return. Choose the area of touch. Select mode. Set a different VP for each status. The range of user address is 1000 to 4F, so I set 1000. Different parameter need to be set here. Data length, set to. Next switch to the second image. Click data variable display. We need to set the corresponding parameters for each of the three states. The VP needs to be consistent with the parameter set earlier. First press set 1. The steps are the same for the other two states. Continuous pressing set 2. Loosen pressing set 0. Step 3 return to the first image. Click variable icon display. Box the entire page. VPS need to be consistent.
Select 30 to ICL file. Select icon. The quantity needs to be consistent. Select show background mode. Click save and generate. Put both files into the Dwin SCT folder. Download this folder to SD card. Once power on, it is the beginning of the effect we see. Today's teaching content is all over.